Bradley Beal, man. His man has oh. only played three of 19 games so far due to his lower back injury. Two of the three games that he played in, he lost. The one of the games that he that they did win in, he shot terrible efficiency. So Bradley Beal hasn't looked anything like we, what we've seen. So rate your worry on this Bradley Beal injury situation and how much that's actually going to affect the Suns. Oh, uh, wow. Um, Bradley Beal has been, over the last couple of years, been notorious for being injured, injury prone, uh, if you want to say that. But h- how worried I am about Bradley Beal, I... <sighs> That's kind of difficult to say because without Bradley Bill, this Phoenix Suns team has looked phenomenal. I mean, Bradley Bill is basically just a is a plus. Like, hey, if you could come in and give us some extra points, cool. But if not, we could still go 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 be some of the best teams out there. Um, but you did trade Chris Paul, you know, for Bradley Bill. So in t- in terms of that, I am worried about Bradley Bill. I mean, a back injury is serious. I mean, we've seen it keep MPJ out an extended amount of time. We've seen it keep Ben Simmons out uh, an extended amount of time. And what really scares me is that night where they said that Big Three were going to debut, but a game time decision, Bradley Bill is scratched. That that worries me. That oh, you thought you were fine, and then out of nowhere, the back comes back. That's actually a really, really big worry for me if I'm a, a Phoenix Suns fan. So I would say I'm, I'm really worried about Bradley Beal in this situation. Man, I'm I am like a hundred percent worried. And, and 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 real quick, shout out shout out my neighbor Dylan because he's actually he's actually a Suns fan, and he we be always always talking about the Suns and Bradley Beal and all that. And he he was we was talking last night. He was the one that kind of got me thinking about this. That's why I put it on the episode for today. But what I'm well, the reason why I'm worried is because like. When when the Suns when um what what's the name of the owner over there the dude who just bought the team uh, Matt Ishbia Matt Ishbia thank you when when Matt Ishbia like was putting together the team and the GMs or whatnot they built this team with the mindset of all right we're gonna have KD we're gonna have Devin Booker and we're gonna have Bradley Beal we're gonna have a very top heavy team and then we're gonna have like some all right players because what other teams in the league have that like better of a of a of a you know trio like no I don't think any other team in the league has a better trio. But there's a lot of teams in the league that have like a better like all around roster. But the Suns were okay with giving up death so that they can have you know a really good top heavy team. But they did that in mind that Bradley Beal was playing. Now, bro is not playing. Like how you said, regular season, they've been able to get it done. They have arguably, we talked about at the beginning of the show, the, arguably the greatest like scorer of all time. They have Devin Booker, who we know what he's doing. Like in for our generation, he's probably one of the one of the greatest scorers as well too he's definitely definitely getting to it so regular season they're getting it done but my concern is come playoffs because what did what did we see last season with the suns devin booker and kevin durant were going off for like 30 plus 40 plus and they were still getting popped by the sun by the nuggets by like 20 plus so that's my concern is that like Come playoffs, you're going to – if Bradley Beal isn't there, you're going to be in the same situation where KD and D-Book are just every time down court, cash, cash, cash. And, like, they'll make it, but, shit, on the other end, you're still down by – you're still down by 20. And also another concern that I have is, like, when Bradley Beal does come back, you got to – I don't think Bradley Beal is just, like, a Clay Thompson, like, pit. Like, you could just add him in, 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 the, in any situation. Like, Bradley Beal, for all we've seen him on the Wizards – when he was with John Wall, he was a number two option. When John Wall left, he was a number one option. We've never seen Bradley Beal as a number three option. So now to integrate him midseason while other teams have already been had the chemistry role and have had time going, integrate the player like that into the third, like a third scoring option. I'm very concerned. I'll be honest. Yeah. So I, when when it comes to when it comes to like him possibly coming back, I mean, hopefully coming back. You know, hopefully this season isn't, isn't just like. Oh, injury, injury riddled. But I'm hoping that he's he can be a plug and play uh, type of player. You stick him in, or maybe Frank Vogel ha- had uh, conversations about like how he fit with the other two guys. I'm hoping that, be, but so yeah. far it hasn't been it hasn't been what you expected. 